and welcome back. Okay, now there's a few things I'm going to do for side quests. Yes, now that I've progressed the story along, there's a few things that have been opened up for now for side quests which I can do. And one thing I want to do is get a, um, well, I want to upgrade my, um, rupee wallet twice. Now, the first location is actually in Minas Woods, which I will show you in order to get to. And let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, my way, stupid people. Okay. Okay, so over here, this area can lead you to one of a few areas in the game, which is a a great fairy fountain. Now, the great fairy fountains are known to help upgrade items, whether it be bombs, arrows, or rupees. Now, this one in particular can upgrade your rupee capacity from 100 to 300. Sure. Yeah. And with that, we actually have a 300 uh, rupee counter. And there is one other rupee um, expansion you can get, but I'm a little bit short on rupees. I need about 40 more in order to buy it. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding for that. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, welcome back. Okay, now that I actually did some grinding, pretty decent amount, which I'm going to be using for the next side quest after this. If you want to go in here and in the back, you can actually buy a larger rupee wallet for 80 rupees. So, so, now with that, I actually can have a capacity of 500 rupees, which is pretty convenient. Because the next thing that we're going to do after getting a upgrade again, I can actually start uh, by doing some kinish, uh, kin gr kinstone grinding. Eh, I don't know why I can't say that properly, but okay. Alright, once you get the Pegasus boots, you have to come back to Swift Blade to get your um, sword uh, running skill. Or whatever it's called. Yep. Dash attack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. There was another technique that I will show later on, probably at the end of this video. But, it's not important right now. So, anyways, I will do some rupee grinding, and then I'll start some kinstone grinding in order to get the one I need for the side quest I need. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, welcome back. Okay, as you can see, I've grinded a lot of rupees. And I am gonna go in there and try to buy... Uh, as many pastries as I can in order to get that, um, uh, kinstone that I need. And I'll be back once I got that, and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, and now that that's, I finally got the one I needed, took a while though, it cost me a lot of rupees, is the one you see, the red one all the way on the right underneath the blue three, that's the one that we needed in order to lock the side quest in order to get the light arrows. So, 
let's go a few skin stones with the guy that we need, which is in the shell house right here. And we'll open up the portal, which we need to go in order to get the light arrows. Okay, and with that we have a portal open up behind our house. So let's go there now. Yeah, if we can get the stupid Pegasus boots running right. And the portal's right here. So make sure that you actually have your gust jar equipped and let's go. Alright, there we go, we got some good kin stones. And I'm sorry, but I have to pull up this reference. It's ghost busting time. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Yep. Yep. That's one part of the side quest, but once we come back here later on in the game, we'll get the light arrows, which is a nice upgrade. So anyways, we're going to go back to town and we're going to do some more things. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, back at the place where we got the rupee uh, wallet. Let's see. Oop. Thought about it. Yeah, it's a weapon you can get and there's an upgrade it for later on, but as you can tell, I don't have a lot of rupees, but I wanted to show that off. So anyways, next I'm going to do things for uh, other parts of side quest. Uh, there is another scroll I can get, but it requires me to climb up the mountain again, Mount uh, Crenel again. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, welcome back. Alright, uh, remember this place where we got the um, grip uh, bracelet? Well, up here is a another dojo, but we can't open it unless we got the sword, um, the white sword, infused with the two elements. So, anyways, there's a kind of a little puzzle here. And there we go. Alright, let's go in. So, I think this guy is Greyblade. He will teach us our rolling slash. Okay, yeah, he is Greyblade. Yes. The roll attack, yeah, okay. Yeah, I understand. There we go. All right. So I will be going back to um, the swamp place again. Can't remember the name right now off the top of my head. And I'll see you guys then. By the way, there's a lot of transitions. Kind of not necessary, but I just didn't want to show all the crap running around. So I'll see you guys then. 
All right. Well, now that we're back here, we're going to do some stuff, but I'm going to end the segment here. So I'll see you guys next time.